I know this is a, a big interest to uh, some folks uh, that are following the process, but I would just defer any questions back to the Trump campaign team. If the election was this week, it would be a historic win uh, for President Trump. That was North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum on our show last weekend, remaining mum about where he stands on Trump's VP shortlist. Among all the rumored running mates, he comes in at number one for our next guest, who says their ticket could be historic. Shark Tank investor and O'Leary Ventures chair, Kevin O'Leary. Kevin, thanks for being here. So you think a pick of Doug Burgum would be historic. Why is that? Because usually we don't care in a presidential election cycle who either side chooses as a vice president. In this cycle, because of longevity issues, it's never been more important. But also, when you start to think about a vice president, you never really consider them having the necessary need of executional skills. Now, I've worked with Burgum, and this is just serendipitous. Years and years ago, I'm in Los Angeles taping season 16 of Shark Tank. Ten years ago, I did a deal up there called PRX Performance in Fargo. I'd never been to Fargo, North Dakota. One of the most successful deals in Shark Tank history, gym equipment manufacturer. And Burgum said to me then, why are you not putting more money into my state? We have fantastic entrepreneurs. And so I started doing that. I've been going to North Dakota for years now, and I've seen what he can do with execution skills. His track record is unbelievable in what he's done for the state. Very few Americans know that the richest citizens in the country for sovereign wealth are people that live in North Dakota. Doug Burgum did that. You wish, living in California, New York, anywhere else, that Burgum was vice president and did that for your constituency. He really took that state to the top of the pecking order. That's execution skills. That's what a governor does. They're the CEO of a state. So I'm a huge advocate for him, and I'd love to see Trump bring him in to the portfolio. I'll tell you why. Trump himself admitted that in his last tenure, his last mandate, he made some mistakes on who he brought into cabinet. Burgum is not a mistake. Burgum could be the get it done guy. You know, Trump is bombastic, he's the vision guy. But he needs execution skills. He could say to Burgum, go fix the border, go fix energy, go fix anything. That's what Burgum does. <laughs> I don't see that skill set proven in any other candidate. So I'm, I'm unabashedly supporting someone I know in business as a phenomenal leader. I mean, I just walk, walk, watch him work. I sit in an office with him and, and, and I say, look, I need this, I need a permit, I need that. What can you help me with on this? I need this to talk to the CEO. And boom. It happens. This guy gets stuff done. That's the motto for Doug Burgum, gets stuff done. Well, Kevin, you make a good case. Uh, what, what particular policies in North Dakota change that environment? He's pro-business. He's pro-growth. He's pro-innovation. He's pro-entrepreneur. You would want that in every state. I know this sounds crazy, but if you're a Democrat right now listening to this, you want Doug Burgum as vice president. He's not so biased. On, on bipartisan politics, you know, he's, he's not partisan in any way when it comes to building the American economy up. He works with both sides all the time. That's how you get stuff done. So I've seen it in action. The difference for me is I've seen it work. I know how he works. Now, look, I know he's a dark horse. I know two years ago nobody knew who he was. I didn't even know where North Dakota was five, six years ago. <laughs> and now I understand why it's so successful. And so at the end of the day, governors make great vice presidents because of executional skills. I'm endorsing him because I would like to see this work in every state I invest in. He would be terrific on this ticket. Yeah. And I think when people start to dig into his past, as the press would, if he made the pick, you would say, what a team. This is a team that is pro-growth in America. That's the whole deal. And usually you don't care who the VP is. This time you should. It, uh, it, we certainly need an economic uh, revival, uh, and, and pro-business is where it needs to start. Kevin O'Leary, thanks for giving us some time this morning. Take care. You too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.